Good morning, modern steaders. It's a crazy day today. We got so much going on. We gotta clean up the off grid outdoor kitchen first and finish getting it set up. Let me show you what's been going on in here. It's a mess. We have one of our stainless steel tables built and put together. We have another one there. But look, we don't have any room to put them. We gotta make some room, clean up, organize, get some of the stuff out. And yesterday, I didn't video this because it was not a fun process. We got a eight inch to a seven inch adapter. And I did some tin smith knocking and turned the seven inch female into a seven inch oval male to go over the piece that goes on the stove. We got it fit and it works nice. See, yes. Now we need to put this on the stove and then hook this up to the chimney. We have a 90 right there. I need to get two pieces, two sections of eight inch stove pipe to hook in. That'll be a project soon. The big concern for me was just getting that part hooked up. Going from eight inch to eight inch, that shouldn't be a big deal, but you know what happens when you think, when you assume stuff. Yeah, that's right, it doesn't always work out. Today's the day we go to the dump, we make our weekly dump run. So I wanna get this other table set up and get all the cardboard picked up so we can bring it to the dump. The local transfer station, whatever you wanna call it. Fingers crossed, we have three more boxes coming. I don't know what's in them, so that's gonna be a little fun unboxing video. If they show up today, we're gonna add it in the video. I hope they show up today, because that way I can get rid of the cardboard and it won't be kicking around the homestead. I know a lot of people use the cardboard in their gardens and stuff. I just don't know what is in the cardboard. They use a lot of chemicals to make paper and a lot of glue to make the cardboard. And I don't want that leaching into my soil that I'm growing my food with. So I'd rather bring it to the transfer station and let them recycle it and they can turn it into paper or whatever they do. Maybe it's toilet paper and I'll wipe my butt with it someday. I just don't want to grow my food with it. And now I just want to get the area cleaned up a little bit and then get the table somewhat in the area they need to go in. This isn't the final layout, this is just the first start to organize the outdoor kitchen a little bit. In the back corner. saying this is where this table's going, but it's a good start. Pretty impressed with the price of these on Amazon. For two stainless steel tables, it was a little over 300 bucks. I'm not saying I'm going to, but how cool would countertops look if they were wrapped in cabinets, like the barn door I just made for the house. Once we have the sink out here, ooh, that might look nice. We'd have the sink somewhere, the two tables, and cabinet fronts. Oh, I can picture it now. That'd be a lot of work, but it would look cool. That might be another good project to add to the list. Leave it in the comments down below. What do you think? Would it look nice or is it just overkill? If you didn't see the sliding barn door I made for the house, I'll put a link to those videos right here. Gina's off this morning. And in the video, you got to see Figaro, the new cat. Gina's off this morning to the vet, bringing Figaro for his first vet checkup. Fingers crossed he's healthy. Let's get the four foot table opened up and built. FedEx, FedEx just called and said they're showing up in the next half an hour with the package. It's Saturday and FedEx normally don't make Saturday deliveries, but it's not scheduled till Monday. So I called them this morning and wanted to know if I could go get it. And they said, let me call you back. I think it's on the truck. She did. 
I said, okay, I guess I don't gotta go get it. I'll let you come and bring it. Oops. Which is nice about that is we can get rid of all the cardboard on the door of the dump tank. And I don't gotta have it kicking around the house all weekend. I'm pretty impressed with the quality of these tables. They weren't overly expensive. I thought what I paid for two, I'd be paying over that for one. So that's why I said I'm pretty impressed with the price. When I looked them up a few years ago, before we moved up here, they were double the price, if not triple. If you're coming to the hand hewn farm three day class, we'll be putting these tables to the test. These legs are not stainless steel, they're just chrome coated. My only concern there is being in the off grid outdoor kitchen, they're gonna rust. To keep an eye on them, because if that happens, we will be building a base around them. I don't wanna be looking at rust. The other thing the legs have is they got a nice little adjustable foot. And it's got a hex shape on it, so you can get a wrench there and level off your table, which is nice. They also make it so you can order casters and put casters in. This next part can be a little tricky. So we got the word Gridman here. I want to make sure that's on the front. And then they're completely adjustable, which is awesome, but also kind of a pain at the same time. Because that means Nothing holds it in place and they're free floating until we get them tightened up. So I just keep a tape measure with me and try to set them at the same mark. Nice! Alright, we're gonna set this table over here as long as it'll fit. Oh, perfect. This is not where it's staying. This is where we're putting them for now. But that gives us 10 feet of countertop. And then we gotta get out our stainless steel mop sink we've been saving. That's going somewhere. We'll figure that out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below for the stainless steel tables. We got them on Amazon. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy the tables to that link or anything else, we will get a small little kickback from Amazon. FedEx just came. We have three packages we need to open up and assemble. And then we can bring the cardboard to get recycled. You ready to see what FedEx just brought? Look at that beauty. Flat top grill. Camp Chef was in contact with us while we were building the outdoor kitchen and asked what we were going to need for it and I said we'll be able to use a grill and it just showed up today let's get it assembled so far I'm very impressed with the grill part it's all stainless steel that's nice. The legs are powder coated. This is all stainless. Should last long. A long time. Let's get it set down and figure out all the rest of the parts and pieces. I will say, I'm glad I got the stainless steel table set up first. Now let's look at the directions. Right, left, and we need some bolts, washers, and nuts. This is an American company. They're out of, I believe it's Logan, Utah. Let's see what else we gotta put on. All right, we got our two trays. We need our deflectors. That's what these are for. It looks to me like we'll be cooking up some nice food. Oh, we have the hand hewn farm three day class. Got a nice grill to do it on. So you can use it as a grill. 
or a griddle. I'm looking forward to using it as a griddle. I'm really impressed with this right here. This is the grease catchment tray. Usually they just give you a little hook and you gotta put then you gotta put your own little can metal can there. This they actually give you a nice one. Oh that looks like it's gonna work nicely. Set them through each end. Oh that's nice. I like that. They don't mess around. They say griddle, they mean griddle. Whew. It's a nice piece of steel. Now that is nice and rugged. That's some quality construction. One more part. We have the grease catchment tray for the front. Looks like it slides on. Oh, it slides on right here. They got a little weep hole in the front. Goes down into that tray. That was some smart thinking. I'm just gonna start the grill up, let it warm up, and let it burn off anything that's on top of the griddle before we use it. What a better way to break in a griddle than with some pasture-raised bacon. Still a little frozen. We got the griddle unannounced. The griddle showed up a few days early, so we weren't prepared to cook bacon on it, but we're gonna make some. Oh, I smell it already. Now that's the right way to break in a griddle. Good though. How's your bacon? Good. Good. Tomatoes are awesome. Messy but good. You're messy too. But good. Can you visualize how you want to set up the benches? In the sink? Yep. Sink, I mean, table, and also table, sink, table. Well, we've got everybody out here except for the cat. Yeah. Figaro's in the house. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's video as much as we enjoyed our pasture raised BLTs. They were good, weren't they? I guess. I'm not sure. We had fun using our new grill. You can see the tables in the background. Now we're just going to get the sink out here and figure our setup. That will be in a video, a few more videos out. Our next video we'll be working on the outdoor outhouse. Oh. No, the composting outhouse. We'll be putting the little bit of siding left on, the windows, and hopefully the doors. That's gonna be fun. I can't wait till that's done. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We got a lot of fun stuff we've been up to. We have a lot more fun stuff we're gonna be doing. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Mom the Ages, a guide to modern home settings, self sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.